We changed, guys, and then I realized that the zip is broken. and welcome to New York Fashion Week. Guys, so today I was thinking, actually this morning I was thinking, I don't know how's the light here, it's very sunny, but you're just gonna have to bear with me because I really, really, really wanted to show you this view. This view is so spectacular, though probably would be better if I was vlogging this way, right? Today I was thinking that this is actually 10 years of me doing New York Fashion Week. I still remember like it was yesterday when I first got invited. Well, I got like this kind of New York Fashion Week accreditation. It was very different. New York Fashion Week was like uptown. It was in Lincoln Center. I get like goosebumps when I think about the beginnings and how it was and me not being basically invited to barely any shows. I was flying to New York just to kind of like go to the little bits and bobs that I was invited to. And it was like really building a dream step by step, but many years later. If you think it happened like overnight, it didn't. It's 10 years, okay? So that's 20 seasons without missing any besides the ones that were not happening in 2020, right? I didn't want to vlog all the travel here and stuff because you've seen it all before. How many, how many plane journeys can I vlog, right? And I decided to really focus on the shows, fittings, presentations, and the, my favorite New York Fashion Week guest. Announce yourself. Hello? Oh, Philippe was leaving tomorrow, sadly, but we're making the most out of our New York time together. This morning, though, we are going for Michael Kors fitting, which is like my first kind of appointment of Fashion Week, I believe. Is that right? No, actually, last night we went to my Teresa cocktail. That was really, really nice, but I wanted to start vlogging today. So... <laughs> I had a little like selection. We're gonna try this look on because I'm really, really loving it. This green with the belt from the last um, show that we've seen in New York when we were here. It's gonna be insane. Let's do this. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Oh, yeah. Yes. I really. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> week because we're going to we're going to a meeting tonight we will have a dinner and right now i have to i will have to shoot like two projects when we're back but i uh, finished my fittings for the morning and very very happy to actually enjoy a bit of sunshine the weather in new york is gorgeous and it's nice to have this overture so I can adjust a little bit before tomorrow when officially New York Fashion Week starts and I will have three shows. What do you think is the hardest aspect of working in fashion in just a quick sentence? Competition. You think? Yeah, there is a lot of competition. And I... you know, in, in fashion, if you are not ready and awake, someone else is. is. I don't think so. I think like competition is actually really good in fashion because it, it keeps you good. going, it keeps it you moving, good, it keeps you moving on you the ball. You cannot relax. Not a sec. No. Because the day you relax, someone else is taking over. For me, I think the most challenging thing is that coming back from pharmacy world and scientific world, it's very different because nothing is based on science or a rule, you know? That's for me the most challenging thing that you actually... Is, but also the most beautiful thing because you can create based on emotions, feelings, yeah. there is no rules. There's, there are no rules. A lot of things are based on relationships. I would say mo like 90% of the business is based on relationships, maintaining the same. Yes, yes. It doesn't matter like really who's the most talented person or the best or 
yeah that's sometimes for me that's really hard to comprehend because i come from a completely different background where everything is based on knowledge science and hard work yep not nothing fine no there are a few scientific rules yeah yeah like what um, you know <laughs> colors materials materials and shapes shapes okay i'll you know, take that i'll take that stripes right dots. they're very scientific or not human. everything is for everyone yeah mm. i don't know but if i can uh, suggest something mm -hmm. i say fake it until you make it make it i don't think that rule though applies no anymore. but you know what fake it until you make it mean mm, tell me please it means just go for it you are not sure but you believe in it just go for it yeah fake it until you make it but not like anna delvey style no no but no not legal you know <laughs> like uh, if you believe in something go for it even when nobody you know, else does even though even Show the confidence. nobody or even if you think it's there is something not clear but you really believe in it just go 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 go, go. worst case scenario you're wrong thank you for this little interview i appreciate it i didn't know it was an interview yeah anything else you would like to know it was the forbes five minute with the brilliant minds what is the best uh, the best color burger in town. for yellow white well done the best color <laughs> the best color for orange uh yeah yeah yes purple yes yes well done so you good! See, I, I knew it, but I was insecure. You see, so much. Ah! Just for the records, it's not there. Not anyway, rules. just for the record. Yeah. Yeah, they're not rules. Is what I think, <laughs> <laughs> which means nothing. But but if just you have, for the record, you know there are I some rules like wear people anyway, orange and purple. Like people think that I told you already once. I think people think that blonde girls uh -huh. cannot wear yellow. Yes, we disagree. Wrong. The best color for a blonde girl is yellow. And white combination. You know? Like my best friend Yoska. Yes. She wears yellow and white, I think, sometimes. Okay, we are arriving on the destination. Okay guys, we're on Madison Avenue, probably very loud, but I mean, that's the beauty of New York, isn't it? We're heading inside of one of the three Michael Kors collection worldwide most incredible boutiques. Now, I've taken you here before, if I remember well, and I'm ready to try on pretty much everything that's inside. So, let's get going. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, it's the dresses. Is to, I love this one. This is the one that Bella Hadid wore, I remember, at the show, right? I want to try everything on! <laughs> wow. You know what I definitely want to try? I want to try the black cutout dress. It's so gorgeous. I want to try mm, a suit. Maybe even like the green What Like, I don't know if it's out yet, like the green trousers. Yeah. Let's see. I want this. It's like a body with some, like so easy, but so powerful with this detailing. And the material feels great. That's the beauty of Michael Kors collection pieces. They're just so sophisticated. And I know you guys love them too, because last time I was here, you all went crazy about it. So, <gasps> love the tassels. If you're searching for an elegant dress for any band, I love this. I think like next red carpet, guys, this is going to be my, oh wow, but I love this too. This is very me. I think I wore something similar, I tried on something similar in Capri. It's so beautiful. And I love how this material is like a little bit stretchy, so it's just like perfect fit. Oh my God, imagine. Wow, I love this. I think this is so chic like for an everyday bag. And let's see what it looks like inside. 
I love how it opens. It opens like a doctor's bag almost, you know, like you can just have a, such a beautiful overview of everything that's inside as a magnetic clasp. So you don't really even have to close it every time. I really like this. Wow, this is gorgeous. Very, very chic. Love it. Okay, let's go to the changing room. Putting on the sandals and I'm gonna reveal you the most incredible dress that you've ever seen. Okay guys, I told you this is the most insane dress and I just like love the detailing. The like clasp here, I'll come close so you can see the clasp. Oh, insane. It's so beautiful. This dress has to be mine. It's on the list, adding it. So you'll see me wear it probably spring, summer time. That's usually kind of how it works, right? And now I have a perfect white suit that I'm gonna jump into. So, wow, this is insane. Uh, I love this suit. This suit is so good. I mean, I could get married in this, right? I, mean, I, I might need something underneath, but like, can we discuss? Oh my God. I love this suit. This suit is insane. We need the, this is what I, this is my favorite. Love, love, love. Like the pants are so well fitted. They're like a glove and it feels so good. Like the material, the quality, the weight, the shape, the tailoring is just so hi if you're in madison avenue strolling having the look around okay just go in ask for this white suit screenshot now take a picture with your phone ask for this white suit this is the best white suit that i've ever had on that's a major statement i love it i even love this this is so like you know like classic simple but dainty and beautiful minimalist i love this buckle kind of front like this can be a bikini but it can also be a, you know a top or like, ah, oh, yeah, that goes with the skirt. Ah, oh, I love it. And the Bella dress. Guys, just came back to the room. As you can see, we have two huge rails. That rail is a rail of all the samples for the shows. And this rail is a rail of the clothes that I brought. I'll show you in a second, but first things first, something more important. How gorgeous is this sunset? so stunning i mean honestly i feel so grateful and i just discussed with everybody today like we had we saw xenia and Jürgen. i don't think i vlogged that yet we're seeing them tonight for dinner so i'll try and improve it but i discussed as well with xenia and Jürgen. i discussed with my team september and new york fashion week was great but remember all of my troubles with getting on the plane etc feels so much better not having all those troubles this time around i just feel so great and so happy and so grateful to be in town first of all we just shot this look which i'll insert if you haven't seen it already on Instagram so many of you have already asked me about this suit when I posted it on my IG stories and it's from Suzanne I love this mint color and it's so cute and I love it with this hat this is the hat that I received from Ademar Piguet when we went to I feel like when we were in Saint Tropez but I could be wrong or maybe even in Florence anyway um let me show you what I told you I'll show you got many 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 bags we brought but these are some of the looks we have Heron Preston we have Brandon Maxwell we have Adim Hellas is arriving, Francis Kula, we have Aria. I'm even trying to think, like, but there's a lot. And there's still some that are arriving. And then in this corner here, the clothes and the shoes and the accessories that I bought. And what is my boyfriend doing when he's making so much noise? I'm not so sure. Baby, you okay, my love? Did it get stuck? So yeah, this is the fashion corner, basically. And this is the sunset, but let's show you in the other room if Filippo managed to get it unstuck. Here is love of my life. Hello. Do you want to say hi to YouTube fam? Hi, everyone. We're going to have a little chill moment uh, right now, not to say nap, but look at this. Oh, it feels honestly unreal. I mean, like the view that we have is just so gorgeous. And I mean, very, very, very grateful to have such a beautiful big room, but let me show it to you. This is basically, this is where we sleep. It's a bit messy at the moment, but this is what we wake up to every morning. And then all of this is like Hudson River that is now closed, but it's so gorgeous. What do you mean it's closed? It's closed. The curtain, not the Hudson River. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought see you the said funniest. that the hats on the river is closed. <laughs> I was like, what? Opening hours, huh? Huh? Honestly, so it's just uh, like insane to be here. Don't you think it's insane, Filippo? I think it is insane. And like, I I'm looking at that. Well, we think we both know that. Puñito. Si, puñito. Si. And we're going to do now even, masks to show them. And they've seen it in the other room. We are, uh, this is so good for me, like making some weird... So <laughs> I love it. Good for you. So yeah, this is the room. I'm giving you a little room tour so you can see everything. And I have this gorgeous couch. I just shot my new Givenchy bag. That one. Voyou in here. So you can go and check that out on Instagram as well. Good morning in New York City. Here reporting for you from New York Fashion Week today, Tamara and Filippo. Yep. I just had my hair done. Frank Provo team, Alex was here. I decided to go for a high ponytail and I'm gonna see her twice today because today we have three shows to see. Okay, so today's plan of the day, three shows. We have Princess Kula, then we have Aria, and then we have Aaron Preston. And it's going to be an intense day, so show after show after show, two hair appointments, and the love of my life is leaving. He provided us coffee this morning, which I'm very grateful for. And now I think we're gonna go for a little walk just to get some steps in, so I can like also not just go around crazy. Normally I wouldn't do that if Filippo wouldn't be here because I like to like kind of stay composed. Otherwise I feel like I don't have enough time for everything in a day, but we're gonna go for a little walk. Maybe we're gonna grab us like breakfast. Yeah, let's go for a little walk. We need to- uh, but Also breakfast at a hotel is good, you know? Yeah. But I like to walk. We need to regenerate our brain cells. It's very cold today. Yeah, but it's sunny. It's cold, but it's, it's dry. So it's a nice cold. The hair is fresh. The air is fresh, but also the hair is fresh. Also the hair. She always make fun of me because in Italy, we don't have the... We Letter don't H. have the H. So for us, it's house, home, hamburger, instead of house. But it's not that home. what's funny. What's funny is that you put H where H doesn't belong. It's not funny that you cut the H. The fact that you say home is okay, but the fact that you put it where it doesn't belong, like for air, you say hair. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? That's funny. Like for, do you say aeroplane? Because there are two words. They are the same words. One is with the H and yeah. one is without. And one is this kind of situation. We always put the H in the wrong one. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> anyway, you. that being said, I think we're going to get going. And then we'll update you. I have like three really insane looks for today. So it's going to be really good. Well, good. No, I already said good morning, I believe. Or not. Hmm, good question. Anyway, I had a little coffee with Xenia, Jorgen and Filippo. Filippo is leaving today. I think we've informed you already and I'm already dressed for the first show of the day. Frank Provo is doing my hair. So Alex was here this morning at 7.30. That's the dedication, okay? And now I'm all dressed for the princess cooler. I'm so happy that they sent me this coat because actually today is quite a cold day. Can we agree on that? So I'm wearing, actually, let me show you. I'm all mic'd up, as you can see. I'm wearing these like white trousers, white knit, which is gorgeous with this metallic sort of like a chain detailing and cutouts around the neck. Very fluffy, gorgeous white coat that will keep me warm and I'm so grateful for that. Then for the shoes, I'm wearing my own, very new. I haven't shown them to you guys yet. These are the Bottega Veneta new kind of sling bags with the metal detail at the back. I really, really, really love them. I will link them below so you can check it out. This Prenza bag that I still am yet to pack. And then these Jimmy Choo sunglasses. So very excited for the show because I'm, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna be seated with my friends and I can just catch up and enjoy and have a bit of a moment. So let's get going.
Okay guys, Francis Cooler Showdown, it was actually incredible. One of the most incredible collections of Francis Cooler ever. And I mean, they've been doing it for 20 years. So that's a very, very bold statement. So after the show, Xenia and I were like, we have kind of one hour before our next show, which is Area. And we are basically uh, gonna go in a cafe and change because we were doing TikToks, content, stories, reels, pictures, everything you can imagine. Like content on steroids, okay? I love my look. I think we've shown it to you. I really love it. I feel so warm also, which is like a huge plus. And now we're gonna quickly change for area, have a coffee and head to the next show, which is the show number two of today. We changed. <laughs> We changed, guys, and then I realized I never tried on actually this look, Same. and I realized that the zip is broken. You broke it. No, <laughs> stop it. You know, you witnessed me changing I into have it, and like it. now, luckily, Senia came to rescue, and she gave me this coat. That's it. We're ready to go. We will film a special ASMR for you again. He's not listening. Okay. Wow, very bright in here. Okay guys, I hope you can see me and hear me. We're at the venue, it's like very white and sunny. There are flies on the wall and there is kind of like a fly noise coming out. So we'll see if that's the, some sort of inspiration. I don't know if I should take the sunglasses off because I don't know if my makeup is still all good. The outfit, as you could have seen it, I've got this Alaya heart-shaped bag. I love it so much. I will link it below so you guys can check it out. And that's it. We are basically ready for the show. I'm gonna find my seat and get going. No, no, do your show face. It's like fashion shows. So do we do Bond first or Casa first? I think we should do Bond first, because I think... Oh. <laughs> at 5 37 p.m in a day and i'm about to go to my third show of the day which is heron preston i had my hair redone by frank provoting because i wanted to change it up for the evening show and i might even go for dinner i mean it's really hard to go for dinners when you're like in this time zone and i just want to go to bed at nine and wake up at six you know but senia is insisting we don't go to casa cipriani and i love that place so we might do it anyway long story short this is my outfit i love this outfit i just sent it to filippo and i was like i love this outfit is the heron preston like there's a blade 
blazer pants they also sent me a skirt in case i wanted to try a skirt but honestly i'd rather be warm and then this corset that is kind of tight now also because i've attached the mic so hope you don't mind i got my prada heels in orange because that perfectly matches the heron preston label it says a lot of things Anyway, so the show's at six, but it's literally a four minute walk from the hotel. So there's no point getting a car because it will take actually longer. I believe we would, we should be able even to see it. Ah, I think I can see where it is. Look, 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 can you see there? There's like something going on there. People queuing all around the block. Yeah. So there are people, <laughs> that's basically where it is in that building over there. Cause I know that's Sixth Avenue and it's on Sixth Avenue and I can see some photographers flashing and there are people queuing because it's too early for, I think we still have 20 minutes. So I feel FOMO cause I'm in my hotel room and I'm watching other people entering the show. It's so weird. Anyway, I had also a huge burger now. So I feel very much like in a trance, in a food trance, but it's okay. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna, you know, like enjoy the show. It's gonna be really cool. I cannot wait to see what his like collection is gonna be like. It's my first time I'm ever attending a Heron Preston show. And we still have, I feel like on Tuesday we have four shows. On Monday we have some shows. Tomorrow we have two shows. Yeah. It's okay, but honestly, this season New York Fashion Week's a bit shorter and I cannot complain about it. I kind of like that it's more condensed, but it's quicker somehow. Loving that like, you know, I just get to see like these like really good shows and then I can go to London. That's it. Let me know what you think about the hairstyle. We'll link the clothes if we can find it in the description box and we'll see you at the next show. Very quick outfit change. I'm wearing the Chrome Hearts denim. Prada favorite shoes in the world. As you guys know, they're just so, so, so comfortable. And I'm too tired to be, you know, doing anything really right now. This is a Uniqlo cashmere turtleneck and a Medea blazer. Went to zero bond with Xenia New York again. And I'm gonna have a black coat as well, same hair as before. Super tired, but I need to push like at least two more hours. So I think I'm going for like one drink and gonna come back to sleep because I really love my early nights. Have like three whole days left and we're coming back and honestly I don't really want to fully adjust to the time zone. So no partying, no crazy stuff, just being a good girl. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three. I, I don't know. This is the point where I'm lost in days completely. What I can tell you is that I woke up at 6 a.m. and I've done a ton of work this morning. I love actually the New York jet lag because you just wake up and you're like, oh, so I have all of this morning for myself. I can go out, grab a coffee. There's nobody on the streets. I can have a little walk. I can journal, diary. I can edit pictures. I can work on my content planning. I can schedule. I can do so much. Like, it's incredible. And I feel so energized. Ah, I don't know, like today is just like, I don't know if for this fashion week, the stars have perfectly aligned. I don't know what it is, but I am feeling so happy. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that happiness is contagious. So I want to transfer some to you guys. What do I want to tell you? So today's plan, I had my hair done. I wanted something like a little bit kind of cool, a little bit like Saint Laurent vibes. You know what I mean? Like straight hair with some hair in front here. You'll be seeing this a lot today. We have two shows. We have Adim and Kate. And Kate is, I think you guys know, like one of my favorite brands in the world. Like it's just, oh. She's just so good. And I'm actually very, very honored to be going to the today's show because the show is going to be in her first ever independent store. So she's opening a boutique for all the New Yorkers. It's going to be on Mercer Street and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I literally like want to go shopping while I'm in New York as soon as it's open. So the show is going to be there. It's going to be a very, very small show. That's why I'm like really honored to be invited and I need to like see what I'm going to wear. Yeah, that's kind of basically the plan for today I, I actually think I've written a blog post about like my favorite kind of basics and pieces that I have in my wardrobe that I wear constantly and I think Kate is majority of it like I don't even need to tell you how many like knits I have from Kate you guys will just yeah you know so that's that that's the sort of fish plan for today what else not really much we just have like a lot of kind of content 
to create and to enjoy and I want to see my friends and the best part I yesterday posted about this on stories the best part about fashion week is actually spending time with your fashion friends and just enjoying speaking to them and being with them and this gorgeous city that we have here let me make it a bit darker so you can see it are you sick of this view yet I hope not because every morning I wake up I do not understand how did I get just so lucky I think I mentioned this before but it is my 10 year anniversary of doing New York Fashion Weeks and honestly it does feel a bit surreal because I'm like wow have I started doing New York Fashion Weeks when I was 23 I, I just it just seems like 23 is so young you know but it is what it is and I feel like I should insert some of the pictures of my outfits 10 years ago I think like I have completely changed as a person today from 10 years ago and also my style has completely evolved I've, I've learned so much about fashion I learned so much about business I learned so much about working in fashion how fashion works also I just think that for me like what motivates me the most and what inspires me the most is turning back and looking at progress so whatever your plans are you don't have to be working in fashion you don't have to be working in anything like similar to me I just wanted to say that whichever field you work in and whatever aspirations you have just think that time will pass anyway so if you start working on yourself today in five years time you could be a pro at that topic or in that field if you don't start well the, the time will pass anyway you know like I know that five years seem like a long time or ten years seem like a long time but I promise you that that time will pass anyway and if you actually start working and learning every day a little bit by little bit you will with time become a professional in that field so that's my little two cents of the morning I'm gonna finish my coffee edit some more pictures and get on to uh, upload some shorts and TikToks. so let's get going okay guys we are on our way to Adim I think he's going to take us like 15 ish minutes yes we arrive at 2 59 according to the sat nav and the shows are three so it's perfect because obviously the shows are always late and in, in fact actually in new york the doors don't even open until the kind of like show time so to arrive early that's what make much sense i'm ready i got my adim look i got my Miu Miu boots i love these boots so much they were so hard to get they got sold out so fast my little mini kelly it's kind of like these tones like brownish nudie the lovely lady from housekeeping which is so hand she said oh my god i love these colors on you they suit your complexion so much so so we're gonna go to that show then i'm gonna go and have a little coconut water break and then we're gonna go to kate that's the plan for today early night early morning loves it okay guys the show's about to start it's very loud and buzzing here i don't even know if you'll be able to hear me hopefully yes um very different kind of atmosphere so i don't really know what to expect you guys will see the collection together with me and i'll let you know what i think guys we got back home it's a little bit messy but it's okay and we actually well i unboxed it but we received something from michael Kors. so let me show it to you Dun, 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 dun. i'm sure this is not much of a surprise remember when we were at the michael Kors collection store in madison avenue i showed you this bag and i said i really liked it but guys how cute is this little outfit that i just got i, I was like i really like this this kind of little shiny skirt black with the knit that has a cutout the only thing that i was like i really didn't want to remove i have like under my favorite ever and some of my team members they always laugh because i always wear this this is my michael kors ripped the white tank top i always have this like somewhere in one of the reels in one of the back in 2021 i feel like every single beginning of every reel starts in like this tank top and if you don't believe me go and check it out anyway um it has a cut out here this knit it's so beautiful gorgeous gorgeous material it says nk here and i love this skirt i actually really like this outfit i think it's so cute but the bag is the masterpiece ladies and gentlemen like this is a perfect everyday bag and i I was i was trying to show it to you at the boutique because the way it opens is just so, so gorgeous so inside i know you want to see this we have one back pocket there is a tag inside because it's a brand new bag there you can keep all of your like important stuff like cards or even passport if you travel with this bag and then if i turn it around it's lined it's suede lined inside here you have two pockets that perhaps you can slide your phone or even here you can slide your passport whatever you really want to be very frank with you i just really like 
like how easy it is to like you know fill it up with all of your most precious belongings and like black leather grained bag is always useful so really loving it and this is how you can wear it also on your shoulder or you can wear it even cross body oh wow you can even adjust the strap okay so that's a lot of different options i think like this would be perfect everyday bag to be honest leather who loves the shape let me know in the comments below i know it comes in many different colors so i will leave a link in the description box below i wanted to thank michael kors for being my partner for this new fashion week vlog because us working girls you know what i mean we just have to make sure that we get everything done and we are working non-stop that's one thing i can tell you is that right mia yes I just want to make sure that you guys know that we've been working and that this bag will be very useful because every morning now I can bring my agenda downstairs, my phone. What else do I like to bring? Well, I don't really always bring my laptop in the mornings because I like to do kind of work, you know, in the room. But my agenda for journaling and off we go. Thank you so much, Michael Kors. I love it. Okay, guys, two hours later, we are heading to the Kate show. I'll show you the look a little bit later just because I'm worried we're gonna be late and I don't want that anxiety. So let's go to the Kate show. Outfit, all these fashion girls. You guys are so cute. I love this coat of Geraldine. It's gorgeous i just tried the blazer on of like the same but the blazer is beautiful but i prefer it in the coat version yeah i love the legs you are you guys look insane insane Okay guys, we decided to walk home because it's like five minute walk literally and to get a car there is fine but I think to walk back especially when it's your last thing of the day it's really nice. It's so funny because I just watched the clip when I got out of the car there were like so many paparazzi outside of the Kate show and I literally like I opened the door I slide out of the car I'll insert it so you can see it. I didn't like gracefully come out I like slid out it was so funny but it's okay because the outfit was permitting. We I don't even know if I've shown you what I'm wearing. Did did I even say we're going to Kate? Anyway, so my outfit for Kate is I'm wearing this, uh, well, I actually had my <laughs> Kate look, but um, I decided to go for this gorgeous Prada skirt, cashmere top, as you can see, black coat, and I've got my Saint Laurent booties on. That's the look. Uh, the show was incredible on Mercer Street, 165 Mercer Street, I believe. The store, like we obviously, everything was like in seats, as you could have seen, so I don't really know what to tell you, but it looked gorgeous. Loved the collection. Irina Sheik walked the show was really 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 tiny very private and intimate which i kind of like it also she is heavily pregnant so big 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 applause to her i really love women who kind of work and do their best and you know i think it's just incredible that she decided to do like this big of a deal of a show and collection so close to her due date so great for kate now let's go home Good morning, my YouTube family. It is day four, I think, officially. Is it day four? I believe it's day four of New York Fashion Week. And I woke up to a very sunny New York. In fact, I woke up and I put on this sweater, though, because I was feeling a little bit chilly. Now I feel hot. But let me show you my view. Now, honestly, what more could I ask for? You literally, like, ah, you wake up, all of this. Look at that. That's downtown Hudson River. Gorgeous view. And then as you could have already seen a million times throughout this vlog because i'm so obsessed with it you can see the view all the way there as well it's just so beautiful there's like it's gorgeous all the bridges and all of that good stuff there so today's going to be a little bit different new york fashion week day that is because we have a project to shoot so actually i'm gonna get dressed we're gonna have like a coffee it's a little bit more chill i would say today because no running to the shows feels great i will be doing i will be actually having like a little breakfast and a coffee and then we are heading to sort of more uptownish well more like midtownish really for a little project with La Mer. I've been working with La Mer for many years and it's one of my favorite brands so I'm very excited to see what they've got prepared new. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to show it to you because I don't know if it's still like secret. We'll see but anyway that's the plan for today. After that we're going to come back here and I have to shoot two more projects 
today then in the evening i have a dinner planned i know i've been really really bad at actually showing you any kind of like social aspect of fashion week i'm gonna try to get better at that, at that that's the goal and i also i fall asleep pretty early pretty much every night so i'm gonna quickly do my makeup now get ready and then we're gonna get going to grab a coffee maybe a porridge that's kind of like my favorite way to start the day i also wanted to tell you that like so what's left of new york fashion week there's still like a halfway we're like kind of halfway through i would say because tomorrow we have four shows which are going to be quite back to back ish i mean nothing comparing to london milan and paris but you know what i mean and then we are going to one show and one lunch the day after and then we're heading to the airport i was actually going to stay a day longer in new york initially but then i decided that i would prefer a day more in london so that is the current situation now let's go and get my makeup done <music> Okay guys, I'm just checking my feed because I posted my second post of the day. So, so far I posted like six posts from New York and I'm just checking what it's looking like. It's only 11.25 so you might, you might be wondering how did I post already my second post of the day. But the truth is that I set alarm at 5 a.m. to... I basically prepare the draft before I go to sleep. Then I set alarm at 5 a.m. so that I can post and you guys in Europe can see. Might be crazy a little bit but that's what it is. I like to you know show you guys what we're doing so we came to maman which is one of the cafes that i think i discovered during last fashion week i had a kale salad it was really huge so i couldn't finish everything and also like i don't really eat kale salad for breakfast but there was not really my favorite option which is porridge and this is my second caffeine source which is matcha with oat milk i already had coffee this morning so we are here chilling uh talking planning content actually enjoying this is the first moment that i can say like i'm actually sitting in a cafe and chilling besides when philip was here in sydney and here again but you know what i mean um we're gonna quickly get this wrapped up and head uptown or midtown to see the lemaire family so fun <music> Good morning, everybody. I wanted to start vlogging already earlier this morning, but it was a bit crazy. I was not supposed to wash my hair today, but I washed it, <laughs> which like uh, backtracked us a little bit with time, but it's okay. Alex from Prank Provo Teams here. She's doing my hair. She's been doing my hair now for how many years, Alex? Six years. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. And you always do a great job. So we have like many different hair looks during this New York Fashion Week. And today we're doing two different looks, which you will see as the day goes. Having my coffee, then I'm going to do my makeup. And then we're going to run to Brandon Maxwell. And I think you're going to run to your next yeah. appointment. <laughs> because I washed my hair when I was not supposed to, but it's, you know, it's okay. My look for Brandon Maxwell, I love because I'm obsessed with the color navy and it's navy and so good. Today is also Valentine's Day and my Valentine is across the ocean, but, 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 he sent me the like nicest, like he handwritten a letter and he sent me a picture of oh. it. So I see it in the morning when I wake up. The cutest. So cute. Yeah. So yeah, hair is almost done. We're doing a bun. You will see it later. And then we're heading to the shows. We have four shows today. It's a lot. Okay guys, we're now on our way to Brandon Maxwell. This is my look. I thought I'd show it to you here in Sunshine, so I'm not freezing. This is like the only look that I actually haven't got a coat for, like a proper coat, but it's really sunny today. So we got this gorgeous sequin skirt. I love it, especially because of these pockets. It's a bit more casual because of the large zip. Navy knit blazer, which is black. Perfect for Filippo's obsession with black and navy or my obsession with navy. Look at these heels. Oh my God, they're so insane. And I got my navy Birkin cargo, as well as the Saint Laurent glasses. I love these glasses so much. I'll try and link it below if I can find what I can find. Um, we're heading to the show, which is just across the street. So gotta do our street style and let's watch the show. Guys, is this too much for a 10 a.m. show? I don't know, but it's fashion week, you know? Guys, it's 12 minutes 4. 
The show's at four, but it's like five minute drive. So very close by, even like 10 minute walk. We could even walk there, but we're probably gonna walk back because that's what we prefer. This is my look. I am wearing a shirt by LSE. It's sort of like a shirt jacket. The show's hella C, right? I styled it with my denim skirt, Prada bag. I actually had a total look, but it was a little bit like for my personal style, was just a little bit too much. And I like more these muted looks. I think you guys can see it. What I can, what I'm really proud of is that I picked some incredible looks this season. I feel like every single look is something that I would have worn even when it is not fashion week. I think you guys will be able to agree with that. And um, yeah, same goes for today, like denim on denim on denim, right? So Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, circa 2000. Okay, we have to be very quick. Well, really, we're not vlogging that much today because there's so much going on. We just finished Veronica Beer's show and I have to change. I, I was like posting a lot of my stories. So I have to change and we're going to Alto Zara. But since it's Valentine's Day, I wanted to show you the Empire State Building. We quickly have like 10 minutes to do, but especially for you guys, you can see up there that the Empire State Building is pink and it's like flashing like beats of heart. I love it. so. Happy Valentine's Day, my Valentine's! Okay guys, after a little break, well, you can't really see, but let me show it to you. I am fully changed into an Altozara look that is, well, when I saw it last season at the New York Fashion Week, I was like, this look, there were two looks that I loved, this look and a yellow look. And for this Fashion Week, I was like, this would be my number one choice of a look because I love it, love it, love it, love it. So we're now heading to the New York Public Library, you know, the spot where Carrie didn't say yes because Big didn't show up to. Also the place where it's a library. Um, but we're going to see what Joseph Altozara has prepared for us. Oh my God, I love this detailing on the shirt. Like there's an A, you know, this like little thing like this just yeah it's all that's what i really really love uh, basically this look has one two three four five pieces but it looks like you know that's why it looks like this and um yeah hopefully i'll show you the look better when we get home and then we have just one more show left of new york fashion week and we're going home Good morning, last day of New York Fashion Week with lots of enthusiasm, though I am a little bit sad I'm leaving, but also happy to go to London. Highlight, Michael Kors fashion show, we guys know it. You've seen me do the fitting, I believe, and this is the look that I will be wearing for Michael Kors show. Now, this I'm really impressed with. There's like this knit that goes over, but guys, this knit is not actually a knit. It doesn't have a place for a head to see what I mean. It's just actually like a little shrug. Hold on, let's figure it out. I had my hair done by Frank Provo this morning, so this is the look we're gonna go for because it's gonna perfectly match my look. I have golden heels and a little golden bag, which you will see in a second. These are the sandals. Now, lovely Michael Kors team sent me yesterday this gorgeous pair of sunglasses that I really love. I think they're very flattering on my face. I was like, hmm, very pleasantly surprised and impressed and loved it. So this is going to be my look. We're a little bit early. Like the show is in 35 minutes. It takes us 15 minutes to get there, but we might take some pictures on the way or actually I have some plans. So we're gonna switch this off and go and create some content. Okay, we're in the car. It is quarter two. I have my tiny little bag. I wanted to show you what's inside. You wanna know? Okay, so we have some mints. Well, not anymore. Okay, hold on. We have some mints because you sit like very close to people at the shows, right? Like, you know, we talk to each other. This is very important. The string, these are my favorite. They're like little tiny bread strips. I have a lip gloss that is not on my lips. And I have a lipstick that is on my lips. It is Bad Lieutenant by Tom Ford. And I realized with this hair, I have to put like my sunglasses over these little baby hairs. Otherwise it looks like I have two really weird like has. Love my outfit. I feel so comfortable and so like, you know, I feel like it's Sunday morning, but it's not. It's Wednesday morning. So let's pa repack my bag. Doesn't fit anything else. That's, it is what it is. My phone is going to be in my hand anyway. It always is. And we are heading to the show. And that was 
was it guys for New York Fashion Week. Now it is around 2 p.m. What do you haven't seen after the Michael Kors show, which by the way was spectacular. Have you seen those like long coats and like a huge like uh, fluffy ones? I loved it so so much. Brian and I were like this is my airport look, this is my everyday look, this is my like daytime look, you know it was just like so 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 perfect. Now we had like a lunch after the show with Michael and there were like some of the guests from the show were invited at this like special lunch. It was gorgeous 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 but now we have to pack two and a half suitcases and i'm gonna actually wash my hair just to get rid of the product so yeah i'm gonna get into some comfy clothes not that this is not comfy because this was just gorgeous but i'm gonna get into you know the travel outfit and off we go to london Bye bye